Hi guys, this is Nico here, and today I'm going to be starting a Let's Play. And that's right, um, I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of a game that I had since 2016. I did attempt to do Let's Plays of it back on my old channel, but it never real. I never really finished it. I didn't finish the story, I didn't finish any of my Let's Plays, so hopefully I could finish it in this one. That's just my main hope. Sure you want to restart the game with the beginning, this will raise your currency. Yes. I am fine with that. <laughs> and I forgot almost everything, so... This could probably be wrong. Okay, so male, we're gonna go for female. I'm just <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna change this motherfucker's name. I'm gonna change it to my name because I... I am the all-seeing eye in this Let's Play. Fuck y'all. And we are done. Hairstyle. I'll keep that. No, I'm talking about <laughs> no. I am scrawny. Which is uh, I'll just keep this height. And the physique. I'll keep that. I mean sword, katana, spear, axe, two hand, club, dagger. I'm just gonna stick with the sword. And yeah. I'm I'm not gonna really change so much in this one. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. You got Lost Song as a character. Yes, I actually did a Let's Play of Lost Song on my other channel. The one that terminated. And I did attempt to do a Let's Play of the first game. Uh, I don't think they got the Hollow Fragment one. Hmm. Oh, well. It's whatever. Okay. So let's see what we got. Oh, hello there. I never seen you around. She isn't, she's a yellow player. Dramatic. NPC We will find out soon enough because apparently she's important in this plot. I'm back to Aincrap. <gasps> yeah, I'm just back to Aincrap now. Several hours ago, this fucking happened. Oh boy. Really, game is just. Yeah, but apparently we're now gonna be doing some fuck shit. Hell yeah! You know it, baby! Let's go! Alright, staggering enemies. I forgot how to play. <laughs> and press uh, square once to slash. Press repeatedly to activate a sword skill and perform a combo. You can activate sword skills instantly with uh, triangle button. This consumes a lot of SP but increases the attack power. If you time your sword skill to strike right after the enemy skill, you could stagger the enemy in a short time. You deal more damage to a staggered enemy, so watch their movements carefully and wait for an up uh, opening. I was about to say uprising. Oh, 
Okay, so this is two. Yeah, there it is. Hit the enemy with the sword skill at the right moment. To stack. Okay. There we go. Staggering enemies complete. I actually am wearing my glasses this time. A combo ratio is displayed whenever you attack an enemy. This is this is a damage multiplier, so higher numbers are better. The longer you co your combo goes unbroken, the higher the hit count will go, which in turn increases the damage multiplier. Okay. The damage multiplier will also increase when you time your sh slashes perfectly with the combo gauge. More effective uh, your attacks are, for example, if... You know, if you stagger an enemy, the higher the ratio will climb. Increase your combo ratio above 2.00. Oh, oh. Time your slash just right, or find another way to stagger the enemy. Okay. That's the parry. Ah. There we go. That took a while. Hit an enemy multiple times to increase your combo ratio to 2.0. Oh, okay, so you press this to forward. Oh, I skipped. Go by bitches. I didn't know what I did. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I was supposed to invade. I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> okay, so you can issue a variety of orders from the party command list, but one of the strongest is the chain command. To initiate a chain attack with the default control scheme, press L1 button to triangle button. When ordered to perform a chain attack, your ally will perform a series of damage multiple by raising your combo attacks. You can raise your combo ratio by unleashing your sword skills in sync with your allies' attacks. If you are one to successful finish the chain attack, you'll activate a skill chain attack. Allies are defenseless when performing chain attacks, so stagger enemies and bury attacks to defend them. Okie dokie. Attack him all! Fuck it! Oh shit. Switch! Huh. Just hit it till it dies, just hit it till it dies, just hit it till it dies. Bitch. Hey, we did it! How do we do that? He maybe was buying up for <laughs> we could shoot, but that's what parties are for. Who are you guys? That was a heck of an induction to, into this world. Yeah, you guys have been at this for ages. 
Oh God, don't remind me. <laughs> Actually, no, fuck you, do remind me. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm definitely feeling a little a SAO deja vu. The scenery seems like it came straight out of Aincrad. SAO. Alright, let's think back on that, shall we? Sword Art Online, known to the MMO crowd and those who survived it as SAO. No game was more highly anticipated. A complete virtual MMO that made us use the cutting aid. Getting I was about to go into an accent for some reason. <laughs> use of the cutting edge ner edge. Why do I say it like that? Whatever. I'll continue. Nerve gear hardware. Nerve Gear was a revolution, a headset capable of sending signals directly into the user's brain. Players could experience games as though it, as though they were truly inside them. All the sights, sounds, and smells intact. This technology, Full Dive, was paired with MMORPGs to create a pop to create and populate an entire world with players from all over. As Zora Online was the first of these VR MMOs and the subject of a near legendary amount of publicity. Akihiko Kayaba, the game's developer, once went to record say went on record saying, Though it's a game, it is about far more than play. That is not how he speaks. <laughs> In the day the, the game launched, his words were proven all too true. Very true! I mean, people died in that game. God damn. Kayaba forcefully removed the player's ability to log out of, this, of his world of Aincrad. Trapping with, I need a drink of water. <laughs> How do voice actors keep the water bottles? I think I got so many. They would die for real. They'd all die for real. He declared there was only one way to free the players trapped inside this creation. Clear all 100 floors of the massive floating castle of Minecraft. 10,000 users were locked into Sword Art Online. In the first few weeks, thousands of them perished. Players were forced to treat the world as their home. They lived, died, and fought in Minecraft. They they made friends and enemies. Excuse me, she's. And then on the final 100th floor of Minecraft, I killed Heathcliff, the mighty avatar of Akihiko Kayaba. We were free again. The world was watching as the, as the first players finally awoke from the nightmare. But too many never would. But this world isn't is sort out online. This isn't Aincrad anymore. This is the new game. A new beta test, Sword Art Origin. They really called it that, huh? It's a scary thing! This time we're exploring the massive world of Ein Ground. <laughs> this place isn't a prison anymore, no matter what's in store for us here. We should be having fun together. We're doing this all together! We're supposed to meet up with the others after this, right? Yeah, time flies, holy shit. We we're just slaying mobs and all that crap. Let's get a move on. <laughs> Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go, honey. We're back and just barely in time. 
We passed up so many detours. I don't want to explore. I am such a good boy. Thank you, Haruka. <laughs> she voices a lot of characters too. Like props to her, man. エセオで幾度も行動を共にした編サーで最強ギルドである結末期待に不断調として所属していたギルドで起きた問題により俺は命の危険にさらされるもそのことがきっかけで互いが相思相愛であることを知ったシステム上での結婚を果たし俺たち
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Look, these ladies aren't my harem. I, I have a girl, man. They're just part of the ride. No making fun of the girlfriend's cooking. <laughs> no making fun of my cooking. I'm cook better than you. <laughs> I'm the one who made that Raku Rabbit taste so great, like nothing's ever tasted great before. <laughs> you only started playing and I, and I haven't time to build my cooking skill yet. It's not SAO quality, but it's getting there. No. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why do you sound so nervous? Why do you sound so nervous? Her, her cooking is usually good. I wouldn't honestly know about that. I mean, like, fuck, I'm gonna get. <laughs> Plus, I'm, I'm sure this will just boot up if I'm making meals for a special someone with all my heart and soul. In it. Also, not my baby. Yes. Just say my name, bitch. <laughs> say my name. <laughs> hey, come back. We don't have time to. We don't wide love stairs today. Oh, just because you don't have one, because your hand don't count. <laughs> what are you talking about? I was definitely staring at you, my girl. Let's just say the abridged series was actually canon. If that was the case, yeah, the thing about us, we fucked in the bed. We fucked in the bed. <laughs> I wish I could change their names. Can I change their names? I I don't think I, I can. If I would, I would have actually given his name Tiffany because, again, in the SAO bridge, they actually gave him the name Tiffany. I probably should have asked them why they named that. Because I was at Expo and I actually met up with them. I all fuck! Egil's one of my allies in SAO. Not only a badass in battle, but a master merchant too. He bought m all my vendor trash. In real life, he runs a cafe with his wife. That's where we all go to hang out once we log out of the game. My darling, wonderful wife, incredibly considerate, told, okay, I gotta stop that. and told me to take care, take the rest of the day off. Sweet. Dude, if there's a, you know, makes me want to go to Japan, just go to a cafe. Just be like, I'm at the Daisy Cafe, peeps. Or just go to a simple maid cafe or something like that. If I'm pretty sure you do it. I, I want to go to a maid cafe. I, I haven't really gone to a maid cafe all my life. I just want to try it out and see how how welcoming or how it feels like to be welcomed. Not simply because I'm a single dude. I just want to try it out. Just be simply to put it, I want to try it out. <laughs> There's no cake in the world as delicious as dicey cake. Dicey cake. I'll save a few slices because you give me a compliment. And you have big boobies. Nice to have our party growing. Is that everyone who's supposed to be on today? No. There's still more people. That much I'm certain. <laughs> I'll do my best to keep up, and I promise to not to make all you all care of me like bullshit. I'll join guys in a little later. I think I want to browse around the shops. I already got new equipment on the uh, on the mine, and not quite yet. It's the this place. I know it's supposed to be a carbon copy of Minecraft's town of beginnings, and it's a little shocking. All these memories just. Came flooding back. Feels like yesterday I was just running around trying to get deals on raw materials. 
was so desperate to start up my smithing. Once I got, got set up, everything seems to fall into place. I started making weapons. I was proud to put my mark on them. And a certain someone showed up on fine day to smash those weapons to pieces. Oh. Well, bitch, if your sword wasn't weak as shit, it wouldn't break it! Or would have broken. You get what I mean. Man, Liz, I, I don't know what I would have done without it. Without that super awesome, totally unbreakable shop you ran. <laughs> nice there, boy. Well, Grace is hanging out and talking as we're in a world of adventure. Let's do some adventuring. We can browse around town and head out into the wild. By the way, I have a feeling we're going to explore every nook cranny of Iron Ground. That's what I'm going to try to plan to do. Dish. Hey, want to take a walk with it? Fuck yeah. I'd like to see the game's town of beginnings. Sure. Sounds like they made a lot of changes. Town of beginnings. Scenic Overlook, Lakeside Park, Teleport Gate Plaza, Market Street. Okay, well, I, I actually do recognize this area, so I know what goes on this. Hmm? Okay, so this is an area, it's like a, it's like a freaking park area, I guess. So, from what I remember, you could actually go on dates with your, with whoever you um, decided to go walk, walk around with, like, with Asuna here. This park is massive, huh? Probably the most popular spot to get some rest in the whole city. Ooh, I bet it feels so good to sprawl out on the grass over there. I could get some good naps here. I don't think there's a single place you couldn't get some good naps. Hey, that's... Come on! Yeah, give a guy a break! I'm just teasing. You know, I like watching you doze off like that. It's super cute. You like how you try to look at me while I'm sleeping because you think I was young. Actually, I am younger than you, but dude, fuck you. <laughs> you should drop by every once in a while. Just take a load off and bask in the sun. Doesn't sound like a bad idea, though. I can get behind that, nothing wrong with a double nap, even if it's impossible to, <laughs> to wake you once you pass out. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, please, I had to... It was so bad that I actually marked whiskers on your face. You thought I was doing the dirty dirty with you, you... <laughs> I don't normally get... My mom's calling. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I know, I know. I was just poking fun. Let's see what else there is. I like it when when they sound so moany like that. Not trying to sound like a creep or anything, but it's just it's adorable, okay? Especially when they say more. <laughs> it's like it. Uh, <laughs> I, I get easily amused with stuff like this. I it's, I find it adorable. Anyway, so we got Silica, Elizabeth, and Asuna, so... Hey, you feel tuckered out, so let's talk. Oh, hey, I meant to tell you. It sounds like the, there's a really cute accessory being given out as a quest reward. quest reward. I'm not sure if I should go through with it or not, but it sounds so incredible. So... Oh, really? Thanks. I'll try it out. But I didn't say... I, I, Pan and party, give a present. Talk, hold hands, change of heart. Um, uh, affection system. Okay, so this is her affection system. She's bold as fuck. We have. Night. Oh, okay, so that's what it does? So like, <gasps> ah, mm. I'll just keep like the normal stuff for now. Attack your equipment. Got equipment. 
Let's see, we got sub helmet. Ah. Definitely using that. Okay, so there was no like um system to go on hard mode, so let's just walk around town with Austin and we can go on fucking dates later. Alright, so we have a water looks actually pretty nice though. You know, even even since this is actually also on the PS Vita, I'd say I, I know they made the quality better for the consoles. It's just that I don't know. Regardless, it just feels so nice. It's like it feels nice to play. Like especially like when you go to like a different location, it just automatically saves, and you don't have to go to like a saves. Like that's always been my issue with Lost Song. They tend to they actually made that a thing where you have to go to like the end just to save. And Asuna, why the fuck are you jumping? <laughs> Alright, so this area. Oh, we got floating rocks. Oh, look, I doubt we'll ever need it for progression. But I am glad there's a cafe. Maybe it's cozy romantic. Of course it has to be cozy romantic. It is nice. In most MMOs, if you want a place to hang out and talk, you gotta do it in the field or random town squares. And then again, maybe that's one of the things that make a game really feel like... Uh, feel all MMO-ish? <laughs> that's not what I'm talking about! <laughs> what? I'm saying if there's a, there are places like that, maybe we could even go on dates. Fuck yes. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that's a good call. Totally. Dates. <laughs> you know you're blushing. Kirito, don't need to hide it. You you both want to do the do, okay? You both want to do the do's. It's okay to feel that way, especially at both your ages. It's fine. I feel it too sometimes. I'm just lonely. There's <laughs> a. <laughs> Sorry, I, I know it, they're not talking about what I'm saying. It's just said <laughs> because like what I'm talking, and then he says that afterwards. <laughs> I'm not gonna fuck hard as you, shit. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> I want to go see the other romantic places we can find. Enough with the porn stuff. We could do that at the inn. We're we're here to make content for players like the one playing us, but we're not here to do any of that stuff in front of them. Oh, what's up, bitch? Okay, so why the fuck are you level three? This man is level one. Why the fuck are you level five? We're not the first one that started. God damn it! I, I okay now I remember now that does actually happen. I don't know why though, but I just want to ring that. That actually does boost her action system. Where is the meter? I know there's a meter. Oh yeah, okay, so she's a rank four and she's close. Read that. Alright. Sit the fuck down, Asuna! I am going to make you fall in love with me all over again. Well that reminds me, I stopped by the biggest flower shop in town the other day. I got all flustered in spite of myself, but I'd like to feel that way again. So, got it. Thanks for listening to me. Come on! I fucking did. Fine. How do I get out of here? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so we already went to the park. We did not go to the market street? Maybe? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> 
Okay, yeah, we didn't go here. Welcome to the market stream, motherfuckers. Buy our cheapest booze! Doesn't matter how old you are, just buy our shit! It's really pretty pretty lively for a, for a day of the beta, huh? I wouldn't want it any other way. Weapon shops, armor shops... This park is guaranteed to be a popular spot for a long time to come. Let's wander around and see what we can find. Okay. Liz! I know you own one of this shit, come the fuck out! No matter what else games we got, women's are always a proper... <laughs> always a proper player, first priority. Yeah, I agree. Heck, I know people who just save up money who, which, with fetch quests until they can rank up their weapon. That's what I did in SAO. Grabbed the best weapon I could and then pushed forward to the next area as fast as possible. Why don't we take a look inside then? Sounds good to me? Welcome! I would like to take a look at their... At your weapons. Please borrow... Please... Yeah, please borrow our shit. Experiment it and give it back and then give us the money. Please browse around as much as you like. Let's see. Of course... You, you are the... Right, anyways. Right this way, miss! If there's anything else on your shopping list today, don't hesitate to ask. <sighs> Let's see what they- Oh, hey, hey. I recognize this lineup, what do you mean? It really is a port of all the SAO data, huh? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I was just a little distracted by that shopkeeper. Fuuuuck! Uh, Carrot cake? <laughs> damn it, I thought she was going to say stare or something. God damn it! That would have been very funny. Oh, no, 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 not that way! That's not even a little bit what I meant. <laughs> Come on, I am. I was just like curious of the, of this NPC, like how well structured they are, and see how realistic they just look, you know. But I need. I I'm not staring at your booze right now. Actually, I actually am the the one talking right now. What the fuck's wrong with me? I just thought they were really natural. The conversation, the interaction, that's what I meant. NPC, yeah, that was an NPC. NPCs usually don't have that many conversation patterns. I didn't even notice until you said something. But yeah, that did seem really... Mm. That could definitely be the case. Hell yeah. Actually, I want to go check if... We pretty much... Yeah, that, that, that's the whole town, yep. Let's go explore outside the town. Oh. Am I that predictable? Well then. Let's head to the Teleport Gate Plaza. Event it's icons and event list. Okay. Event icons will appear on a map and over characters' heads whenever an event can be triggered. It is generally a good idea to seek out event icons if you wish to advance the story. If you forget where you are going or what you're doing, select events list from the main menu to remind yourself. I forgot how to press. Oh! Get the fuck up! Quest offers. There are uh, several quest offers posted on a bulletin board around town. You can accept several quests at a time. The quest can be completed while out on their mission. So, take on a quest that requires travel to whichever area you're visiting. 
Let's change the bulletin board after that. Yeah, I want some of that moody. So let's see, you understand if I so we just gotta kill some boars. Yeah, so basically what I'm gonna be doing this is like whatever gets in my way I kill and then if I just ever have the chance of like okay I did this and I'll just go back there and um <laughs> Okay, so No not that I'll try Ah Go to the teleport plaza. Okay. All right, let's do that. I don't really know how it feels. It's strange being back here. There's a part of me that's still terrified. The first place we saw when we launched into sword art. The first place we learned that we couldn't be able to. Not all the memories of that place are dark, though. You found courage. You kept moving forward and found us. You kept moving forward. Yeah, you're right. This place is a nine crowd. It is an SAO. We're not trapped or afraid anymore. Let's go see what sort of fun we can we can have. <laughs> oh shit! I can tell that voice from anywhere. Hey! Take a little stroll down, remember? What's up, Argo? Argo has been an info dealer since early in SAO. Store polish sees is, is that all Intel has a price. She's sweet and terrifying. Even though there is more frightening than an in game boss, her intelligence saved a lot of lives in Aincrad, mine included. Girl, your game is so good to see you. you never heard for sure if you're. You never heard for sure if you're gonna. Get into the beta. Good to see you, sidebar. I don't think any of that begging actually happened, but I am really happy to have you here. Having you around can make no end of difference. <laughs> Dur dirty little secrets. I know Kirito wets his bed at night. That sounds like an old, old joke, and I should stop. Oh, you're really rolling out of the red carpet for the old me. I may actually be blushing a bit. What's your lover's up to? Wait, how the fuck do you know now? Right, actually, that's... We were just looking around, seeing sights, seeing the sights, but I think the field was our next destination. In that case, how about we pass along some quest info, eh? Would you be up to testing it out? You already got it. Jesus Christ, Argo! It's already been a couple hours since the servers went live. Most players would say it's only been a couple hours. You, you just, you were just as fast as ever. Speed is of the essence in my line of work. Pr apparently. And just for my two favorite customers, this little piece of information comes free of charge. Can't pass up that kind of deal. Let's get questing. What are friends for? Just don't forget Argo is always on the hunt for intel. If you see anything interesting, you know where to count. You can count on us for that shit. Tell me about the quests. There are a couple of different types of quests in this game. I suggest you start with the uh, quest outside of town. Might as well invite some to someone to come with you while you're at it. You, you mean like forming a party? That's a good idea. All right, let's head out as soon as we're ready. Where to find a tutorial? Okay, press that option. All right, so uh, 
basically, we are going to... Teleport and leave town. Let's leave town, shall we? So this is the only area we can go for right now. Whoa, hello. Let's go to this area. So this is basically the first area we're going to be going to. Alright, now we acquired something that I'll just probably never remember ever again. <laughs> okay, so we got a treasure chest. Treasure chest! Treasure chests are scattered all over the world. Brown treasure chests can be opened again after re-entering the area. You also encounter blue chests, but these have been sealed shut but by a powerful enemy that is nearby. Sealed chests will refresh their contents periodically, so you could collect from them multiple times. Items change each time. If luck is on your side, you might get a powerful item to help you on your journey ahead. Try opening every chest you find. Okie dokie. Damn, that was so fucking quick. Alright, got a brave coat. Probably use that some other time. But we got some crabs, alright. Mmm. Fuck bitches. Yes, Asuna, I do mean that. <laughs> Complete the quest outside of town. Okay, so... Apparently you're supposed to go to that exclamation mark. Alright, it's a wild coliseum. Let's see, more enemies ahead. More enemies ahead! Kill this one! Attack it! Perfect. I did not read any of that, but... Oh, okay, so... So they're just teaching me all that stuff that I already did. Goblins. There we go. So that was an extra quest. And back fragment. Quest start the. Materials. Time to take care of these bit of what I always press that as the circle. This is not hollow fragment. And no, I did not play hollow fragment lately. It's just something that I just for some reason remember how to play. Alright. Attack it all! There we go. Knowledge acquired. Success. Oh, 
Okay, cleared it. I think we should try and clear any more that we come across. It was not a quest. Media dry system completed in bed fragment. It will trigger the next part of that quest. Enemies that appear in these quests are incredibly powerful and they may grant you a rare item. They will not be easy, but you should give them a try once you and your allies are strong enough. Not yet. I do want to handle some stuff first because I want to make sure I meet the quota of like, okay, I'm hitting one hour, maybe I should uh, go back or progress on to another one and then just stop for there for the day. So there's still more to do. But I gotta make sure I don't really um, use up so much of like whatever else is on my computer. Because I am a little bit of a danger of trying to free up some space that I have. So, making sure I don't go to that stage. <laughs> Bitches! Christ, I actually killed that. Like, there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Kill it! There we go. There's like, fuck it, 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 fuck it. That's a lot of fuck it's just saying. And Jesus Christ, that's gonna be so strong as hell. Um, I'm gonna face it now. Fuck it. So we just had to like be so smart with this one. Fuck you. Attack it all! Fuck it! Kill it all, guys! I said I'm out! Carry, we still got carry. Damn, I switch. Holy shit! Hail to the no. Oh man, that is not good. Yeah, I don't have the many skills yet. There we go. Alright, we stunned it. Ah! Don't heal. Don't heal me. Heal me, bitches. Heal me. Ah! Holy shit! Switch! Holy shit, that's a lot of damage! 
Fuck. Fuck. The one thing to do before we head back is to kill this son of a- Oh my god, Silica is dead. Wait, where's Silica? Silica! Silica! Go on, hold it. Hold it. There we go. Like, fuck up, bitch. Ah! Heal me, bitches! Come on! I'm the hero, bitch! Fuck you! There we go! Alright, so let's uh, open up some chests. This is... We gotta take care of these bees first. This is. This is. Ah! That was my chance. And I'm going the other way. Now give me that motherfucking chest. Restoration crystal, something that I'll probably never use. <laughs> because I rarely use my items. Unless if like it's my my I'm by myself or something. Or like if I'm just basically in the bind. But rarely I only let my bitches heal me. Or I just like automatically heal myself. Just by not doing anything. Okay then. <laughs> Do that for me. Why don't you? What was this? Um, set palette. Oh. Okay. Deadly sins. That sounds deadly. Okay. I should probably stop talking. No, this is my commentary. Fuck y'all. Alright, so... Let's set up some skills really quick. So I have like 14, so I can have field. How much does that cost? Wait, what does that say? Fair fairy dance. <laughs> nice. Holy shit. That's a lot. Eternal life. Dude, that's insane. I want to test it. Got our shield, bitches. Fuck you. Or, or, you know, you can stay dead. It's fine. Oh, hey, hey there we go. We're meeting at the lounge in the end. Okay. So, I head, head to this. And on that market street. It's a moment of time. People. Let's go. Sub A yield. I mean, Sub Tiffany. <laughs> Received a new message. Okay. What's the message? Oh, friend. I'm stupid. Alright, awesome. What did you say? 
I say it was gonna be great. Yeah, so it's finally kicking off. Starting together with you will be so much fun. Don't get, <laughs> don't go head off on your own, okay? Okay. So okay, here we go. Since this, I was. I'm gonna have so much fun. It's, you know, it's weird how it's just like a sale, but with all my friends here, it should be a blast. Looking forward to it. Mifa. Adventure time! Adventure time! It's so cool to get a start a game with you all. Let's make sure to go on lots of adventures together. Yeah? Yeah. Looks, it looks the same as SAO, but it's shops and items are all different. Ought to be fun to scout out. Of course. I'm always pumped when I get to be the first in a new game. I'm not gonna let you leave me in the dust this time. Just wait. I'll get my own fucking harem. Yes, I know in, in the, the Kirito does not have a harem. I know. I know. I know! Never thought I'd be in the starting this time again. We couldn't enjoy it last time, so let's fix that. Alright guys, to our first day in SAO Sword Art Origin. Cheers! Cheers! Iti Dagamashi. Oh, fuck, I skipped that. Huh? <sighs> You flatter me. You really do. <laughs> What's got you giggling, Leafa? No, seriously, what got you giggled up? What the fuck, bitch? Whoa, I'm getting some DMs. <laughs> I was surprised when I found out you were in a ALL. I always thought you kind of hated my gaming habits. Oh, you're totally right. Soaring through in the Alpha is incredible. Let's think back in ALO. Alpha Online, commonly called ALO, was another large scale VR MMO. MMO. Even a full dive under heavy criticism after SAO, people still wanted VR games. It wasn't long before Alpha was opened. Thanks to the spread of the Amusphere, a safely focused successor to the Nerf Gear, ALO became an instant hit. Yeah, thank God for Amusphere, am I right? The game allowed its players to take wing through the skies, as any number of fairy races. Nothing is quite like it. All of us had our share of adventures there too. We found a, we found another new friend. Hey! Seven! Her handle was Seven, but her real name was Dr. Rainbow <laughs> Rainbow Arshivin. Despite her youth, she was renowned as a jet. She was a genius. And I gotta say, though, if I still had my old videos, I would have flashed back to where we beat the crap out of her three against one when she was going batshit crazy near the final boss. At seven, an isle of sorts, she... <laughs> but the possibilities full dive could offer the world. She could be brash, forceful, occasionally arrogant. She's fucking arrogant. She's a kid! But she was determined. That dedication helped save full dive. 
Welcome to, welcome to low levels for, with the rest of us. <laughs> Believe it or not, it feels pretty fantastic. God damn! Came for drinks already. Is Liz drunk? Can you get drunk in VR? I'm getting a message from outside of the game. A message? And an attachment? Wait a sec! This thing is com this thing's already completed? What? Ah, something incredible. You guys are gonna love this. And it is running. <gasps> hey, Straya! Oh, what's up, Yui? <laughs> oh God, I'm such a dick. Sub, my girl. <laughs> Yui and Straya. Ah, you guys. We had to do a ton of research to see if we could run their programs here too. I guess it all worked out. I thought it would be. I thought it would take much longer to get them in game, but. Ta-da! Trevor. Oh shit. Fuck you, Pina. You're not canon anymore! Oh, great. Am I right? <laughs> Even he says, am I right? This is so not perfect. Fuck you so much. Now I'm worried I wasn't gonna have this piece of shit not be here. Okay, I don't hate Pina. I was just like, I'm, I'm making an <laughs> jokes based on a SAO bridge because like, Pina was never revived there, so I found that shit hilarious. <laughs> I could be with daddy and mommy best day ever. Yui's an AI, created as a system programmed by SAO. After a program overloaded, Asa and I took her in, took her in and cared for her. She's an M she's an MHCP, program meant to observe the mental s status of her of players. But to Asa and I, she's our daughter! It's so great to have you back. Yeah. I'm gonna say you, you, yeah, I bet. Our precious little girl, back with us, where she belongs. We get to have all sorts of family time here in Iron Ground, too. Yeah, totally. Yay! Straya's also an MHPCPC, a very hot one. Various bugs in Aincred's system will corrupt due to the sheer trauma of what went on here. On the... She may not look it, but she's sort of a younger sister to Yui. Sweet, straightforward, and utterly shameless. It wouldn't be nearly as fun without you and Pina too. You are not sniffling. What the fuck? No, no. Whoa! Okay, that's an instant hug stra Actually, no, let's keep it this way. Asuna, whatever's go whatever you think is going on, this is just an experiment. We gotta make sure that the system here is not being fucked up, so it feels so normal. It I, I gotta I gotta check. Okay, so okay. Alright, alright. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Okay, we're good. It was just an experiment. I wasn't trying to want it. It's just an experiment, Asa. Wait, wait, wait! Oh god, she's a very likable character. Thank you, very sisterly Yui. 
<laughs> My job as the eldest sister to make sure Straya comforts herself proper, comports herself properly. Ugh. Even though I appear much tinier than her, <laughs> you don't have to be so protective, you know. I'm pretty capable of deciding who to tackle. Hug my phone. Well, now that you're all here, another toast. Tonight, all deliciousness is on me, so order up anything you like. You seem beat today. Did something good happen? You, you know it. I scored an awesome rare drop day one. I used Wonderful list. Tell me, what item did you acquire? Just a little thing called an ivory fang. Sometimes it's tough being this incredible. Bullshit. Allow me to look up in the code. Blah, blah, blah. Of course, I assume it's only rare because the game barely started. I'm sure we can get tons later on. That is extremely rare as fuck. Bitch! You stupid motherfucker! And you sold it? Cause you're in it for the money! <laughs> you're in it for the money, bitch! Probably should have checked the contents first before you actually sold the damn thing! Yeah, she was just faking all that. Maybe we should cough up for our own tabs, huh? Come on, Liz. Perk up. It's gonna be okay. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. Tell me about it. I'd be scared for weeks if I sold a dropped item like that. Or a drop item drop that bag, yeah, you you get the idea. I think so. We're a team right from the start now. All of us. It'll be different here. We will, Asuna. It'll be amazing. Sleep well. Looks like everyone turned in for the night. Yui and Stray are figuring out how to travel between games, so... Just me. I think I've got... Got at least one quest in me before the night is over. Huh? Hello? An NPC? I think... She's staring straight at me. What the fuck? That was my first sight of an NPC girl. I had no idea at the time. What could that mean? What could it mean? What can do with this? SAO. Full-time technology began in SAO. It spread into AO, constantly evolving and changing. It was a revolution. And soon that revolution resulted in the birth of an entirely new world. 
about a month ago, a game was announced. The buzz amongst fans was palpable. Palpable? Palpable? But even the world at large took notice. The game's name was Sword Art Origin. A spiritual successor to Sword Art Online, Origin promised to port over most of the SAO data with their virtual creation. The world was shocked, as though that death game has been reborn, as though the 4,000 lives it stole were lost in vain. There was criticism, questions of time and focus. Voices were raised and silently quelled. Arrangements have been made. Government agents oversaw the company operating SAO. Now that looks like a mouth. The safely focused Emmy Spear tech was required to lock in. And not only that, Dr. Arshley, Seven. I'm just gonna call her Seven. Lend her own name in support of the product. The true goal is allegedly to collect all sorts of data and statistics to help advance full dive technology. Seven told me herself that her name was only a publicity stunt, an act to silence the game's most hardy critics. I read between the lines, though. I could sense how important this study was to her. How far could full dive take humanity? The initial outcry slowly faded. Weeks ago, Seven called, asked if we honor her by being among the first beta testers. It wasn't an easy decision. We all had seen that prison, the far away free from SAO. After much thought, we agreed. In part, I think, for the, seven reason, for the same reason Seven did. We wanted to learn more about what Full Dive could offer in the, could offer the world. Right? But there was one other reason. It lurked quietly in the corners of our minds, waiting. We had done so much together, forged unbreakable bonds and iCloud. So together, we would face those fears. Let me face, let me face, let me face my fears. Move forward. I'm just gonna stop reading. Oh, and that's, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Day 2 of the beta. So far, everything seems pretty normal. But there was something so strange about the message last night. Something about it refuses to sit right with me. SAO's floating castle is gone. Now we're placed with a wide oh. world under vast skies. I am tired. <laughs> the name of the realm actually comes from the element of the game's engine. The actuality and the great question. From those initials, the developers named their. I'm gonna stop reading. Why am I keep reading? It means cut. No. Hey, Philia. Hey, sit on I am keeping my Olympia, fuck you. <laughs> I got my reasons of making that joke. Uh, so one of the VAs that work with me voices seen on, and back then when I kept showing her or telling her I'm eating Olympia, she's like threatened to kill me. <laughs> Yuki, you're not dead! <laughs> It's a good thing. This is why I like this series. Like, I'm... No, fuck y'all. This is... This is... Canon. Make this anime. Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Promise. I just had something on my mind. Welcome to hell. Today, <laughs> Sam 
彼女の過去に何があったのかはき物おじしない性格で冷静な判断に助けられたことがたびたびある僕も昨日はグローブを見つけたんだよね Yeah, she has AIDS. And I'm not joking. I was not. For those of you who don't know what the series is and you're just here as like a fan of mine or some shit or just new to the channel, yeah, she actually has AIDS. It sucked. In the anime, she's dead. But in the, the games, she's alive as fuck. I will keep you in my party forever. She had a legend to rival my own as one of the fiercest fighters ever. Her strength comes in part from her full dive experience, which was used as a form of end of life care for her illness. Luckily, after Asuna, after Asuna and I met her, we became friends. She condi her condition stabilized. She gives every day all she's got. Oh, yeah, you're telling me I had to save your ass from the from Hollow. And it was so hard. So hard. Yeah, exactly. For those of you who played that game, you know my pain, man. Still, I'm glad you did. Accident or not, I'm glad we met. お互いで会えてよかったってことでいいわよ。私はやっぱりこの街はちょっと怖いかな。俺たち SAO生還者、サバイバーにとってもけど、ここはあのゲームじゃない。そのことの間違いないからさ。そっか。うん、そうだよね
Okay, so and this is the first time we've been all been together to start a game, no loafing. Yes! That is a good thing. How do I select partner? Oh, okay. Fuck you. We're gonna have Sinon. Oh fuck me. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go here. Now this is where I'm gonna head off for now. It's been like how many um hours in this? Okay, so alright, so this is where I'm gonna leave off as usual. So if you're new to the channel, hope you subscribe and all that stuff. I will be making as much content as I can from day from day to day or something. Uh, whenever I have time to do this, whenever I have time to edit all that stuff. But in any case, that is all. I will see you all next time. Peace the fuck out.